For a story where controlling the future is a critical plot device, it's pretty ironic that Xenoblade Chronicles has never managed to get its timing right until now. After this enormous JRPG's unfortunate 2012 debut in the final days of the Wii's life cycle and a low-res port to the 3DS that didn't do it justice, at long last it can shine on a console in its prime. And the result is an improvement as massive as the Titan Bionis itself. And that's before we even get into any of the Definitive Edition's numerous improvements. The most noteworthy upgrade is apparent the second you boot Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition up. It's been given an incredible facelift. Finally, Shulk looks like the dorky firebrand we know from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate instead of a blurry piece of concept art. Environments, which were already unforgettable in low resolution, now take on a whole new life in HD. Some textures haven't been given the same love and are still low res, but it's such a large upgrade over previous versions overall that it's hard to complain about any edges left rough. Even nearly a decade later, the premise of Xenoblade Chronicles and the weirdness of the world it takes place in maintains its charm. After your hometown is attacked by the robotic people-eating Mechon, you and your friends set out on a quest for revenge on an unforgettable odyssey that has you journeying across the titan corpses that serve as the setting. The world is remarkably weird and unique, and areas are diverse and include dense jungles, creepy swamps, and metal labyrinths, just to name a few. You'll even travel inside a creature's body and fight the monsters inside it like a twisted episode of the Magic School Bus. <laughs> Like a lot of JRPGs, the story goes to some really, really weird places that are as confusing as they are preposterous. But it owns its own absurdity so well that it works even when people keep re-explaining the same concept in a dozen different cutscenes. So I can use this power to change the future. We'll change what happens. We'll change the future together. We can change our destinies. Change the future. Huh, I wonder if they can change the future. The definitive edition of Xenoblade Chronicles adds an all-new story chapter called Future Connected, which takes place a year after the events in the main story. It's great to have more time with Shulk and friends, but the standalone adventure, which can be played entirely separately from the campaign, doesn't really add a whole lot. You spend a lot of time with Melia, one of the weaker characters from the main campaign, and two new highly irritating Nalpon named Kino and Nene. Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? The core Xenoblade experience remains intact here, but it's sadly not a major selling point for this remaster. Still, it just feels great to be back with Xenoblade Chronicles' memorable cast of characters, whether it's the lovable meathead Ryan or the stoic and inscrutable Dunbon, each one shines even when the wonky writing or grindy stretches of gameplay otherwise bog down the adventure. The story is squarely focused on Shulk's quest for revenge and the war against the Mechon, but it also takes the time to reintroduce and develop its supporting characters. There are entire chapters dedicated to fleshing out and resolving their major arcs. Of course, characters can still get on your nerves by literally never shutting the hell up before, during, and after combat. You'll hear the same tired lines way too often. Thankfully, you can turn combat dialogue off, but it feels like maybe there should be a middle ground between no combat dialogue at all and having all the characters scream at you uninterrupted for the 100 plus hours it takes to complete the campaign. Gameplay remains largely the same, though it's been improved in some minor ways. Characters now have health bars, which is awesome, and also kind of crazy that this wasn't a thing already. The map UI has a detailed waypoint guiding you towards your objectives instead of a vague arrow, and quest items are marked with a helpful exclamation point so you know which ones you should pick up instead of having to run toward every glowing blue orb. Menus have also been improved a lot. What was once an incomprehensible series of blurry rectangular menus have now been overhauled into a much more modern and functional UI, which is a godsend considering how much time you'll spend in them customizing your character's abilities, upgrading equipment, and changing your outfits. While those improvements are great, this remaster doesn't go far enough elsewhere, opting to maintain a lot of outdated mechanics. The affinity coin and skill tree system, for example, remains an obtuse and bizarre way to buff characters based on social links, soaking up far more attention than it seems worth. I'm all for staying true to the original when it makes sense to do so, but the Wii era RPG design could benefit from more of a refresh. Die. 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 
Combat itself is still just as tactical and addictive as ever. It uses an action-based battle system where your character attacks automatically within range of an enemy, but movement and the more powerful special abilities called arts are controlled by you. Combat can grow a little dull at times due to the fact that the campaign requires a significant amount of grinding, but the fact that it manages to remain at all entertaining with such a long runtime is impressive in its own right. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is the remaster this respected JRPG deserves, even when it feels like it doesn't go far enough in places. The new future connected story chapter isn't particularly inspired, but the impressive graphical overhaul and welcome quality of life improvements make this the best version of Xenoblade Chronicles we've ever had. For more, watch our review of the Wii U version of Xenoblade Chronicles, and for other recent RPGs, check out our reviews of Fallout 76 Wastelanders and Mountain Blade. And for everything else, stick with IGN. It's not over yet! Don't!